Hey friends, uh, welcome back to our channel. My name is Sandra, if you guys are new here. Today I'm gonna be doing a collaboration with my friend Michelle over at Encouraging Mamas. We are going to be sharing with you guys some Thanksgiving desserts. Since Thanksgiving is upon us, I figured it was appropriate to do one of these. Um, so today I am going to be showing you guys my mother-in-law's um, cranberry sauce recipe. So this is not necessarily a full-fledged dessert, yet it is. It is kind of the in-between cranberry sauce desserts. When we think about cranberry sauce, we think about the can of cranberry sauce that has the lines all over it. This is so far from that, uh, it's not even the same thing. <laughs> so this cranberry sauce is delicious and it almost crosses over into dessert land. So come with me today and I'll show you guys how I make it. So I'm going to be starting out by making the cranberry sauce on the cook stove because we have to add it in there a little bit. So I've got a pan here and I'm going to put one pound of cranberries in it. Excuse me, it was 12 ounces, not a pound. And these are, these are just store-bought frozen cranberries from Walmart, I think. Okay, I'm going to add one cup of sugar and one cup of water. And we're gonna let this cook for about 30 minutes. Now I say 30 minutes because on my cook stove it's gonna take a little bit longer. Right now my cook stove is not as warm. On a regular stove top it'd probably take 10 minutes. Um, basically you want your cranberries to burst. My cranberries are starting to pop so I'm gonna let them go for a few more minutes. This has probably been going for about 15. Um, but I want them to all pop. Okay, my cranberry sauce is done. I just pulled it off the cook stove. I'm gonna let this sit in the fridge overnight and I'll show you guys how to assemble this delicious cranberry sauce. Just kidding. I need to add some salt, some cinnamon, and some vanilla. So a pinch of salt, a couple pinches of cinnamon, and about a teaspoon of vanilla. So here I have some whipped cream that I just lightly sweetened with some powdered sugar and our homemade cranberry sauce, which turned out amazing. It thickened up quite nicely in the fridge. To complete this recipe, we need some Ritz crackers, which to me is the secret ingredient. It makes it so amazing and you need a rolling pin to smash them up, possibly get out a little aggression while you're at it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and smash up my crackers fairly fine. I do want some coarser chunks because I think it's nice to have that texture in there. And I'm sorry about the shakiness in the camera. I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> Now comes the fun part. We're gonna start layering this, what is kind of like a cranberry trifle. You wanna make sure that you push your cranberry sauce to the edge of your clear pan though, so you can see the cranberry peeking through the whipped cream. Now I'm gonna add a fairly thick layer of whipped cream and on top of that, I'm gonna sprinkle on some Ritz crackers and that's basically it. Cranberry sauce, whipped cream, Ritz crackers, and repeat until all your layers are done. sprinkle a little bit of Ritz crackers right in the middle and dollop a little bit of cranberry sauce on top just so everybody knows that this is cranberry sauce. That is it. Isn't it beautiful? 
beautiful and so simple and easy to throw together. This is best put in the freezer and taken out about 30 minutes before you're ready to serve. I hope that you guys enjoy this recipe. Okay, so that is it. That is our traditional cranberry sauce that we always have every Thanksgiving. Thank you again, Debbie, for the recipe. If you guys enjoyed this recipe and you're going to give it a try, let me know down in the comments. I hope you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Don't forget to check out Michelle's channel. I will leave it in the description below.